Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and learn how to make a ball bearing sprue holder for your Prusa printer. This should work on the Prusa MK2S, MK3S, I'm using MK3S Plus, the latest version. This sprue holder will allow you to use ball bearing sprue holder. I made this so I can use TPU material without any clogging. So the filament is fed to the extruder with no restriction. I've been able to increase my TPU speeds uh, from like 20 or 30 millimeters per second to 200 millimeters per second and also increase my maximum volumetric speed from 2.5 to 8 millimeters um, cubed which practically now I'm getting the same speeds that I was printing with PET G and I love this spool holder because you can actually go ahead and use it for larger spool uh, like three kilograms five kilos I initially look for a spool holder that I could mount on top of the printer so I don't need extra room so I remixed an existing mount from thingies first um, to make it more stable and so I can hold bigger spools let's go and take a look Hi guys, so we're going to go ahead and slice this uh, for print settings. I do recommend perimeters of five and you can have horizontal shells or you don't have to. I'm not going to put horizontal shells because I want to actually show the infill, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm using layer height 0.3. Uh, infill, I do recommend around 20%, 15% actually should do fine. Um, honeycomb, I feel like honeycomb is the strongest. And you're gonna go ahead and import uh, all. Of, you're gonna go ahead and import all the files you need. Uh, so let's go and find it. So you're gonna need left arm, uh, right arm, two of these. All right. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and try to print most of it. Um, let me rotate it this way. And also rotate this to get most prints out of this one one print. Ooh, yeah, let's get that real close. All right, that's two arms. You're only you're gonna need two one one uh, one left one right. And let's go ahead and import the rest of the stuff. So you're going to need four of these tires now. Now, I do recommend scaling this to 101. Most 608 bearings should fit with 101 scale. I found 100 did not fit. And then for the for the dial here, I do recommend um, actually printing about 97. Oops. 97. So you're gonna need four of these. And um, let me actually get the spacer out. And also, this will not fit at 100, so I do recommend about 94. All right, scale it. Make sure you scale it before you copy and paste. We're going to need four of these. Try to align them as close as possible to the next object um, to avoid stringing. I'm going to do copy, paste. One, two, three, and four. And also, you're going to need four of these. Uh, one. Um, also, you're going to need four of these. So that's all the parts you're going to need. All right. Oh, um, I do recommend actually 0 0.2, 0 0.3. The screws uh, don't work that well. So at, well, at least 0 0.2 or less. Let me discard that and go back to infill. 15% should do honeycomb if you use honeycomb. Do five perimeters and zero horizontal layers. And let me show you how that that's going to look like. Oh, actually, you know what? You're going to need the layers um, because of screws. If you want to... Actually, if you want to print out the big ones, print it without the horizontal. That way you get a nice infill show. Uh, if you want to do it all in one go, I just re recommend about three, three layers each. That should be plenty. For vertical and horizontal. And that's going to look like that. And let me actually delete. Let me delete the color change here. I don't, I had it for some odd reason. So that's going to look like that. And also I do recommend uh, for infill. 
Uh, solid infill threshold area, set that to 100. That will allow the smaller parts to be 100% infill, such as the screw parts. Right? So you can see some of this stuff is all 100%. And only the large infills are in uh, honeycomb format. All right, that should be all good to go. Let's print out. This is going to see how long it's going to take. I'm going to prove some MK3S Plus. It's going to take 11 hours. Save it to your SD card. Or if you're using auto print, you can go ahead and print it all the way. All the parts. Hey guys, so if you want to get this on the El Cheapo, get the 608 bearings all for like 20 bucks. You can get like 100 of them. The problem with these um, is that they come with super grease with hard grease, so they don't they don't really roll well unless um, you're using it for some kind of machinery. So what you do is to get rid of all that uh, grease, just put it in a cup and put some lighter fluid, right? I'm going to go ahead and put lighter fluid somewhat over it. All right, and just shake it around. Okay, and I'm going to just grab four of these out. Um, they will literally ungrease it within seconds. So these are out. And you can see now it rolls really nice. Look at that. So they might still not roll well. These sleeves kind of suck. I actually recommend to take them off. Uh, actually, they're not working bad. So got rid of that. Looking good. Now, um, I do recommend taking the spacers off if they don't roll perfectly. Like this one doesn't roll. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a knife. Maybe just take one of this, one of the sides out. Yeah, that's that's rolling really well. I've got this um, bearing oil. I got. You can get any kind of some kind of bearing oil. And put a few drips on there. That should really, really get super smooth. All right, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and insert it. Uh, the non-spacer inside like that and that should fit just snug like that and we're gonna go ahead and grab this put the that in there put a spacer and then put this side first like that and then we're gonna go get grab the screw and screw it in nice and tight don't over tighten it just make sure it's there's no play right there Check out the bearings. Rolling really well. Maybe just a tiny bit. Now do that for all the four sides. And you should have a very nice uh, ball bearing. Ball bearing spool. Hey guys, so they're both installed. There should be no play in the bearings. All right, maybe just a tiny bit. Make sure all roll out like, just like that. All right, so this guy. Let's put let's go put it on. Hi guys, I also do recommend printing out this little guide. Uh, that'll help it uh, when you're running out of spool, it won't hit the gears. Um, so put this on. You're gonna go ahead and put this side on first over here, uh, just like that. All right, it should be pretty sturdy there. And then you're gonna go ahead and align the wheels. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and just snap it on there. Right. And now the wheels, all four wheels should be turning like that. See that? You can see there's that's, there's very little friction uh, and you should be ready to go. And thanks for watching this video. Uh, have a great day guys. Subscribe, try this if you have a Perusa. Uh, yeah, and let me know how it works and I'll see you guys in the next one.